Hey alligators, what's up? It's Sally Hardesty, and today's video is going to be me talking about some YouTubers and what they're really like in real life. This video was actually inspired by Anna Campbell. She's the one who told me I should do this because we got into a conversation of how a lot of the time, people that you watch online are complete opposite when you meet them in person. Not necessarily in like a good or a bad way, but just not in the way that you would expect. And I feel like a lot of the time, these types of videos are really negative. They're like exposing people, but I wanted to do sort of a fun, silly, positive version of that, talking about people who I didn't really expect to be nice, but were in person, or just fun facts, things that you didn't expect about these YouTubers that you probably watch, and there's only so much you get to see of our lives. So these are all going to be people I've had genuine conversations with, genuinely hung out with, collabed with, or I'm really good friends with. Not just YouTubers I met for like two seconds at VidCon because that doesn't really count, and I'm not saying that I know all of these people super well and I can validate that they're like amazing people inside and out in every single way, but just from the interactions and experiences that I've had, I'm gonna talk about it and tell you guys what I liked. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get into this video. Also give this video a big thumbs up if you want me to do a part two because I know I can't include everyone I'm thinking of off the top of my head in this version. The first YouTuber I'm going to be talking about is Anna Campbell. I thought I would start off with her considering she's the one who told me I should make this video. One thing you have to understand about Anna is that she is probably one of the most genuine people you will ever meet. Not just YouTuber wise, but like as a person. It shines through her in her videos, also in real life. I think she's an amazing person inside out. But all that aside, a fun fact about Anna, or just kind of like a quirky personality trait, this is something I always make fun of her for. Whenever Anna has a thought or an idea, something that she wants reassurance on, she will continually bring it up until someone looks her dead in the eyes like, yes, Anna, 100%, I think you should do that. That's an amazing idea. For example, let's say that she had a video idea and she said it out loud to a group of friends, like I'm in the room, other YouTubers are in the room. And this could mean that I said, oh yeah, cool. No, I have to be like, yes, Anna, that's such a good idea, you should do it. Otherwise, she's gonna keep bringing it up like, I mean, I thought I should do it, I don't know. And then wait like five minutes and she'll be like, so did you not think it was a good idea? <laughs> It's literally so funny. Her face lights up and she's so ready to share her idea. And unless somebody else reciprocates that excitement, she'll kind of get disappointed. If you've met Anna, if you know Anna, I'm pretty sure you'll be like, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Now we're gonna move on to the next YouTuber. Let's talk about Colin for a minute. So Colin Barry, I freaking love him. When I went to LA with him last year, me and him clicked so well with our sense of humor. Like we were literally laughing at everything. And maybe that's just because him and I do laugh at absolutely everything. But I mean, we would be in tears, you guys. Like the night that we met, we literally cried ourselves to sleep pretty much laughing at the Miley Cyrus album. The one where it's like Miley Cyrus and her dead pets. And that song where she's crying about Pablo the fish dying. <laughs> Like he's seriously one of the funniest people I've ever met. But one thing about Colin, I don't know if this is just me, but in his videos, he typically sits down. I didn't realize how tall he was. He's freaking ginormous in real life, like towers me. And I'm not necessarily like a tall person, but I'm like 5'7". I'm like a decent height for a girl, I guess. And I was so shook by how tall he was in real life. And also he always wears those dang furry ears, the wolf ears. I can't say wolf, fun fact about me. I say it like wolf, like wolf, wolf, like a dog. <laughs> Anyways, he always wears those. So when you see him in real life, like when I met him for the first time, it was almost like I was seeing an animated character brought to life because he had like the ears and he was just like super tall in real life. I felt like genuinely Mickey Mouse came out of a coloring book. That's what Colin looked like to me. Another thing about Colin is that he cares genuinely so much about his subscribers. I feel like most people do. I mean, you should. Our subscribers have made us who we are and gotten us to this point, but he works so hard when it comes to giving back to his subscribers. He's always thinking of ideas, he's always in group chats, he's always doing Skype calls, all these things that he doesn't get paid for, that he doesn't have to do, that are so above and beyond, and I just respect him so much for that, and I just think it's phenomenal. Michelle, moments of Michelle on YouTube, in real life, I didn't know how she was gonna be, just because her videos aren't usually like conspiracy theories and things like that, where they're more rehearsed and like research versus like a lot of other YouTubers where they are constantly talking about their personal life. And when I met her in real life, it was so funny because she's the chillest person you'll ever meet. Me and Olivia, when we were meeting subscribers at VidCon, were like, oh my God, take a picture, I love you, like freaking out and stuff. And she's just like, oh yeah, nice to meet you. And like, so nice to them. It's not like she's not excited to see them or happy, but she's so chill. And I 
think it's so funny to me because I'm like the complete opposite. Like I have no chill, like I can't chill. I couldn't like be hype if I tried. You can tell that she's actually really, really, really smart, which I never doubted for a second, but when you get to know her in real life and you're hanging out with her, you can just notice in the way she talks and carries herself and holds a conversation. Also, so think about Michelle. I have the utmost respect for her and I'm just blown away by how well she balances her life and does so much at once. Like she's genuinely so responsible. She posts every single day on YouTube, mind you. And that is, that's hard to do. Also, she's a full-time college student. I'm a full-time college student. I don't upload every day. Her videos are super high quality. It's not like she posts random just stuff just so she throws a video up. She actually has like consistent series. Her channel's super lit with a lot of different interesting content. Shout out to Michelle. I think she's just honestly so cool. Next, I'm gonna talk about Natalia Taylor or Ashley Taylor, whatever you guys wanna call her because I know she goes by both names now. I've always called her Natalia publicly just because when I met her, I knew her real name was Ashley. That's like basically the first thing she told me when we met up in person, but her subscribers didn't know yet. This was way before the kidnapping video, so I was just accustomed to calling her Natalia at like meet and greets and stuff like that. I love her to death. She was my first ever YouTube friend and she means so much to me and she is really, really, really freaking good if you couldn't tell at improv. Like, in the moment, she's just funny. She knows how to turn on the switch where she can just say the right thing at the right time and act a certain way, whether we're like vlogging or doing a certain kind of video. And honestly, that's like pretty hard to be able to do that. Some people are really just naturally good at it and some people have to like work at it and you can tell that she's just like funny. This is sort of more so a fun fact and I know that she doesn't really post on YouTube anymore, but the video she's posted, if you guys look back and you guys check the thumbnails, her thumbnails, what she does is she takes a picture with her phone of her laptop instead of just like screenshotting it on the laptop or like having a picture. All her thumbnails are like that. The quality look really, really good. You can't tell that it was a picture of a picture. So she has her own unique way of doing things, which I think is really dope because she does what works for her. I just think she's genuinely really talented. I think that if she were to continue with YouTube or anything in this industry, she could go really far. Like I've always thought that like with acting and modeling, etc. like she's just very well-rounded in like the entertainment field. She's just one of the few YouTubers that I could see taking it a step further and making it like a real career, being in movies, being on TV and all that stuff, if that's something that she ever wanted to do because I think that she truly has it in her. The next person I'm gonna talk about is Simply Nessa on YouTube and this is a little bit different than the other experiences just because I've never hung out with her like I have with those people. Those people are like my genuine YouTube friends I've like had sleepovers with, been to their house, and spent like quality time with. Vanessa's a little different, but I still wanted to put it in the video just because I feel like I do know her to an extent and there's just kind of a funny backstory. I met Vanessa officially in person for the first time at the VidCon after party at the Studio 71 party and we were hanging out for maybe like, I feel like it was like an hour or two. I was with Michelle and Olivia and we were in a group and we were just talking. And one thing about her is when you talk to her, she's really good at making eye contact. Like the second you have something to say, she looks at you and nods her head. Like she actually is paying attention and that's really rare to find in people. So I was really impressed by that. But the reason why there's sort of a backstory is I knew who she was before I started YouTube and she knew who I was before I had a YouTube. Vanessa and I both had a mutual friend who's not in the social media world, so that friend would talk about me to Vanessa, and then she would talk about Vanessa to me, if that makes sense. So we were like aware of each other's existence, but she and I are both no longer friends with that person. And so when I saw her at VidCon, I thought it was gonna be kind of awkward because honestly, I assumed that she was just gonna act like she didn't know who I was because that's almost like the easy way out because it is kind of weird. Like we have this mutual friend in real life. But when I went up to her, she was immediately like, hey, Allie, oh my gosh, are you still friends with that person? And I was like, no, and I knew that she wasn't. And so she was like, hey, and like gave me a hug and everything and then we just, started talking about the mutual friend and kind of how like she had told me things about her and vice versa so we knew who each other were and it was like really cool that she acknowledged that because I didn't expect her to because she's so big on YouTube. Like have you guys ever followed somebody on Instagram and then you see them in real life but you don't want to be like hey I follow you on Instagram because like it's almost awkward so you just kind of like act like you're meeting them for the first time. I don't know. Some people think that's weird. Some people don't think it's weird. I'm the kind of person where I'll just go up and be like hey I follow you or like I know who you are but she was that way too which was dope and I just didn't expect it especially considering the circumstances of like how their friendship ended and how me and that person's friendship ended it was just like a really weird situation like I had gone on trips with a mutual friend and Nessa would be there but we would like never see each other like she would be leaving when I would be getting there and stuff like that like if our friend was in LA for like a month or something it was just really refreshing to know that she was like a chill person in real life and so were her friends like Denzel and who else was there 
I think it was just Denzel, but he is so freaking nice. I told him this. I was like, honestly, you're super, super nice. So shout out to both of them. They're dope. And now let's talk about somebody else. This is a really short one, but I just thought I'd throw this in there because this was also at the VidCon after party and I met so many people there. Like I could name like 50 people, not 50, like a good like 30 people that I met and talked to. But him, I was hanging out with him there for a while and I had no idea who he was. Like I watch a lot of YouTube, but I'm really bad with knowing people's faces and names and stuff if I don't watch them religiously, if they're not like the Gabby show or something, you know? And so when I was talking to him, he has like over a million subscribers and apparently he was like Vine famous and stuff. And I've mentioned this in past videos, but a lot of the guys at VidCon thought they were like hot shit if they had followers. Like they'd walk around thinking they own the place and just thinking that they could get with any girl they wanted. And he was not like that which I thought was really cool. I didn't even find out he was super famous until after he and I had been like hanging out at the party for a while. So honestly, yeah, shout out to him too. He was super, super, super nice. He just like talked to me and like hung out with me and stuff and like met my friends and everything. And yeah, I had no idea how big he was on social media. And I really respect that, that he didn't just assume that I knew who he was or expect anything because of his status, because you honestly don't find a lot of people like that in the social media world at all, especially guys. Just in my experience, I haven't met like a ton of people on YouTube, like I have, but like I haven't at the same time because YouTube is so saturated with so many people. And so I just got a really good vibe based on the way that whole thing went. Carrie Dayton or 615 Care Bear on YouTube. I know she doesn't really go by that anymore. Now it's just like Carrie. So my girl, we collabed when I went to Arizona. It was super, super fun. I only got to hang out with her like that day and stuff because I was only there for a short amount of time. And I want to go back and I want to hang out with her again because she was so awesome. I had been watching her since before I had a channel and so it was really cool to like become friends with her and then meet her and hang out with her and stuff she's literally just the big sister type like we clicked instantly and I was just talking to her and she's so relatable like I feel like a lot of people try to be relatable on YouTube for like their followers and stuff but her personality is just like that I feel like anybody could easily get along with her if they like made any kind of effort because she's just a really like fun person like she was fun to hang out with and I love Carrie so I wanted to give a shout out to her because I've hung out with her. I didn't want to like not put her in this video, but I know I'm not gonna be able to get to everyone. So Olivia Cara, she is my YouTube BFF, rave fam, everything. Like we hang out, we go on trips together. And I would have to say out of everyone I've named so far and we'll probably name in the rest of this video, she and I are probably the most similar for a lot of different reasons. One being she's really, really, I'm not like talking myself up here. This is just like her in specific, but I feel like I relate to a lot of it. She's very free spirited, likes to have fun, likes to go out and have a good time. She's really, really understanding. Like you can talk to her about anything and she like gets it and it's really hard to find people like that because usually people are super quick to judge no matter what it is and I've told her a lot of stuff and also something about Olivia this is kind of like a fun fact but it also involves me I don't know if you guys knew this I've tweeted about it and people thought this was like insane but at one point we still do this but usually not as intensely because it's usually like right before we're planning a trip so we'll probably get on these pretty soon because we're going to nocturnal wonderland in like less than a month but before EDC Every single day, or like every other day, whenever we had time to do this, my lights, paranormal activity, live, live footage. I don't know if you guys can see that because I'm in front of a ring light, but my apartment's haunted. That'll be a different video. Okay. Oh my God. Can you not? Thanks. She and I will send each other these voice memos. Like, you know, you can go into your phone to the voice memo app and you can like record yourself talking. We will send each other. I'm not even exaggerating. Accumulated like two hours sometimes of voice memos and then we send them over and then when the other person receives them we will take notes on what they said and listen like soak them up everything and then respond back looking at the notes to remind ourselves everything that she talked about or i talked about in the past like two hours of listening to them speak just to plan like vacations or vent or just like talk about random stuff i don't know but like it's kind of our thing i don't have anybody else i do that with at least to that extent where it's like literally hours of us talking because us story time girls can talk forever let me tell you okay this is another little short one but sierra watts i've hung out with her a few times and something that i noticed about her right off the bat was that in her videos she's pretty serious on camera if you guys have seen her channel you know what i'm talking about right like when i met her i expected her to be more serious kind of like how michelle is really chill in her videos i kind of expected her to be like that but she's super crazy in real life like super silly laughing talking like kind of like me like doesn't shut up some of her videos you can tell she's like that like some of her story times where she expresses her personality a little bit more but a lot of them she's like 
helping people, giving advice, talking about things she's been through, more like sad topics, you know? So then when I met her, I just like wasn't expecting that. So yeah, that's just a perfect example of when I was saying that people don't always express 100% of their personality online. Not in a fake way or anything like that, but you just don't know how they're gonna be. And she was like way more outgoing than I expected. So I think I have time for one more. Let's talk about Tana Mojo. I have met Tana on more than one occasion. We've hung out a couple different times, not like one-on-one -on -one or anything, but with a bunch of other YouTubers because a lot of my like best YouTube friends were in her collab channel. So I feel like I know her a decent amount. Obviously I'm not like one of her best friends or anything, but like I said, you can meet your favorite YouTuber and they could just act a certain way for five seconds hug you take a picture and then you'll think they're a certain way but they're not like I've actually hung out with Tana one thing I have to say about Tana she's very personable much like simply Nessa and the interaction I had with her she's really good at making eye contact making you feel like whatever you have to say is valuable listening to you and I feel like you can kind of get this vibe from her videos and stuff that she really does care about people and she is that way but you never know like I said until you meet them in real life because I would talk to her about stuff and who am I like she didn't need to listen to me she didn't really need to pay attention to me but she was and also she's really good at remembering people and remembering names which I was super impressed with because she probably meets how many people on a regular basis like she's super famous and she's on tour right now and so after I hung out with her the first time I hung out with her again more recently at VidCon and right away she was like Allie from LA and she came up and hugged me and she was just talking to me about things that we had talked about prior, like in the past, I guess. Also to the people who say she's going to run out of story times, I really don't see that happening just because from every time I've hung out with her, she's talked about so many things that like I've never seen in a video. So I really do feel like she has a pretty eventful life. Watching her interact with other people when I was with her too, she was so genuinely nice. These are all the YouTubers I'm going to talk about today because I'm running out of time here. I've been blabbing forever. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up. Comment below letting me know if you guys want part two because I want to talk about more people like Aaron Fuller, Shane Dawson, Timmy Connors from Five Quad. I actually went to high school with him. Subscribe if you are new here. Turn on post notifications by hitting that bell button right next to the subscription box. I also have a Patreon. If you guys want to check that out, that way you get extra content and exclusive photos, private Snapchat, etc. Follow my social media. I will have them on the screen somewhere and I will see you guys in the next video. Later all getters. Bye.